Hi there, you want to make sure that you turn on your Sony camera. Once you turn it on, then it will first go to the camera and show you what it's seeing and then it will go into USB connecting mode. Then once it does that, it will show up on the MacBook screen. I'm just going to move to the screen recording, then we can continue from there. Once you connect your Sony camera to your MacBook, you want to make sure that you go to the two folders. They're either going to show up on the desktop just like this, or you want to go to your dock, click on Finder, and then go to your sidebar, and then they will show up either as Untitled or No Name, or if you've named your Sony camera, then it will go into the folder that you've named. I want to move one video from the Untitled folder. You just click on Untitled, and then it will show you Private and DCIM. DCIM is to move photos, and Private is to move clips or videos that you would have shot. Then you move, and then it goes to M4 Root. Then from M4 Root, you click on Clips, and then it will show you all the videos and everything that you would have recorded. If you want to move photos, then you just go back and then you go to DCIM and it will show you all the photos in JPEG mode that you want to move. So I want to move folders into this folder called books. So the first thing that I just do is I just select the picture that I want to move and I just click on it and I drag and I drop it. The other thing I can also do is go to my top menu bar and open file here and then create a new finder window. And then I can also move it to different folders. If you didn't want to move your files to your desktop, you can just click on the folder that you want to move your files to like documents. I'm going to move the files to the folder written averages. I just drag and drop using the same method and then the sound will let you know that your files have moved and then move the specific folder or the file that you want to move. Then I will just click and I'll drop it into this folder written averages. If it's sending a video, it will do it very quick depending on how large or small your file is. Then I, when I click into the folder, then I can actually see the videos, the picture that I just moved and the video as well. So this is how you move your files from your Sony camera. In this specific case, I'm using a Sony ZV-E10 and to move it to your MacBook. Thank you so much for watching.